Donald Trump has spent a lifetime exploiting chaos for personal gain and blaming others for his losses. People like Governor Inslee, he should be doing more. And your governor of Michigan, I mean, she's not stepping up. I don't know if she knows what's going on. The pure madness in America's response to the coronavirus pandemic, shortages of equipment to protect hospital workers, dwindling supplies of ventilators and critical medications, jaw-dropping confusion over how $2.2 trillion of aid in the recent coronavirus law will be distributed, has given him the perfect cover to hoard power and boost his chances of re-election. As the death toll continues to climb and the states are left scrambling for protective gear and crucial resources, Trump is focused on only one thing, himself. He's told governors to find life-saving equipment on their own, claiming the federal government is not a shipping clerk, and subsequently forcing states and cities into a ruthless bidding war. Governors have been reduced to begging FEMA for supplies from the dwindling national stockpile, with vastly different results. While we haven't seen what formula FEMA supposedly has for determining who gets what, reports suggest that Trump's been promising things to governors who can get him on the phone. Our narcissist in chief has ordered FEMA to circumvent their own process and send supplies to states that are appreciative. All I want them to do, very simple, I want them to be appreciative. Michigan and Colorado have received fractions of what they need, while Oklahoma and Kentucky have gotten more than what they asked for. Colorado and Massachusetts have confirmed shipments only to have them held back by FEMA. Ron DeSantis, the Trump-aligned governor of Florida, build the wall, refused to order a shelter-in-place mandate for weeks, but then received 100% of requested supplies within three days. New Jersey waited for two weeks. New York now has more cases than any other single country, but Trump barely lifted a finger for his hometown because Andrew Cuomo is complaining about the catastrophic lack of ventilators in the city. A back channel to the president is a shoe-in way to secure life-saving supplies. Personal flattery seems to be the most effective currency with Trump. The chain of command runs straight through his ego, and that's what the response has been coordinated around. He claimed that as president, he has total authority over when to lift the quarantine and social distancing guidelines. He says that he has the authority to adjourn Congress without Senate confirmation. President of the United States has the authority to do what the president has the authority to do, which is very powerful. Well, I have the ultimate authority. And throughout all of this, Trump has been determined to reject any attempt of independent oversight into his administration's disastrous response. When he signed the $2 trillion emergency relief package into law, he said he wouldn't agree to provisions in the bill for congressional oversight, meaning the wheeling and dealing will be done in secret. He removed the inspector general, leading the independent committee tasked with overseeing the implementation of this massive bill. He appointed one of his own White House lawyers who helped him defend his impeachment trial to oversee the distribution of the $500 billion slush fund for corporations. And that same day, he fired Inspector General Michael Atkinson, the Inspector General who handed the whistleblower complaint to Congress that ultimately led to Trump's impeachment. There should never have been any doubt that Trump would try to use this crisis to improve his odds of re-election. Stimulus checks going to the lowest income earners were delayed because Trump demanded each one of them bear his name. As millions of the hardest hit Americans scrambled to put food on the table and worried about the stack of bills piling up, Trump's chief concern was, as usual, himself. It doesn't matter that this is a global pandemic. Abusing power for personal gain is Trump's M.O. Just three and a half months ago, Trump was impeached on charges of abuse of power and obstructing investigations. Telling governors that they need to be appreciative in order to receive life-saving supplies for their constituents is the same kind of quid pro quo that Trump tried to extort from Ukraine. 
and his attempts to thwart independent oversight are the same as his obstruction of Congress. Trump called his impeachment a hoax. He initially called the coronavirus a hoax. But the real hoax is Trump's commitment to America. In reality, he will do anything, anything to hold on to power. To Donald Trump, the coronavirus crisis is just another opportunity.